welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we are taking a look at a collection of gigantic builds in Minecraft that will blow your minds. These builds include a super yacht, a medieval city, and the ginormous toy store that I have right in front of me along with some other cool things definitely stick around to see all of that but either way this is going to be a awesome video so let's see if we can take one second to crush that like button let's aim for over a thousand likes on this video I believe we could do it and while you're down there leave a short comment and tell me what you think about these bills and which one is your favorite but either way let's go ahead and first check out our toy store now straight away as you guys can see this thing is freaking huge it has loads and loads of toys on the inside and a lot of decoration on the outside it's created by a fray that's why it's called phrase toys and then if we um kind of switch into third person here you can see how large this actually is and once we get closer you will you know notice that it's a lot bigger okay so let's fly towards the front door and as you guys can tell it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and check this out we're gonna go right next to this block and I mean gosh dang it this thing is so huge that we could go down over here and um, you know take a look at the actual thing from the bottom and just wow that is the doorway and uh, yeah there's a lot of fun surprises waiting for us on the inside this is absolutely mind-blowing to me I hope it is for you guys too now I've been doing a lot of uh, maps that say the, like you know the smallest map and the smallest this the smallest that so I wanted to do something where we have just huge structures in Minecraft I think this takes the cake because this thing is absolutely huge and is filled with so many details and since it is a toy store we have a lot of cool things to scatter around the area I believe over here we have an RC car and then on this side we have a Christmas tree obviously and by the way I'm using Optifine with shaders and I have it on the extreme render distance and even with the extreme render distance I can't really get the entire thing loaded but uh, yeah on that side you guys can see we have a Zelda shield and also we have some Minecraft memorability on that side we have a huge Steve character along with an Enderman and a skeleton and a smaller Steve and then a creeper as well as a ghast and also we have a uh, TARDIS here from Doctor Who we're gonna have a lot of different things scattered across the map and it's just going to be really fun to kind of find them all it's going to be some sort of like scavenger hunt over here we have something for Angry Birds Slenderman and it's just really cool is that an etchy sketch wow and then we have have like a uh, redstone block over here and then you have controllers which looks like a GameCube and a GameCube controller. Wow, that's actually really cool. And as you guys can see, once we fly down to these things, they're actually really, really large. And just looking at our Angry Bird, we go next to him and it's much larger than any house of yours would be in Minecraft. I mean, this thing is like about 20 blocks tall. That's really crazy. We have our Christmas tree over here. It has lots of ornaments and decorations on it, but I'm gonna skip that and go for one of the best features on this map which is going to be a village now as you can see when we're flying up here it looks like a small play village and it really doesn't look like much but if you go ahead and drop drop out of the sky and go down you can see that it's actually a full size village that we can actually interact with and go on the inside it's l legit the size of a regular minecraft village even bigger and it looks tiny compared to the rest of the toy store and i think this is by far one of the best things on this map because it really Really does give you a sense of scale obviously there's nothing on the inside over here but there's just loads and loads of decoration on this one um, you know section of the map it's like a map within the map but either way we have some more shelves on this side filled with a lot of amazing toys we have the Wrecked Ralph character we have um Bob the Builder as well as Transformers a fire truck and just a lot of different things which is just really really cool at the front window we have this really cool ferris wheel yet again it is super huge compared to your own minecraft character if you go down to the very bottom of the ferris wheel and then sort of change into our third person perspective you can really see how big that ferris wheel actually is and also we have a ps1 system right over here you guys may not remember that but that is the og and then we have tons of other cool things such as this car i mean this car alone would take me an entire year 
easier to build in Minecraft. An entire, you get it, it's a silly pond. But either way, uh, yeah, it's really cool and I recommend downloading this and taking a look at it for yourself because there's no way on earth we could, you know, check out all of these things in one video. But yeah, now it's time to move on. We have our super yacht up next. Are you guys ready for this? Three, two, one, and bam! Check that out. That is, um, that's actually not the super yacht I was looking for. This looks actually quite tiny. I think it's somewhere over there. Oh my god! That thing is huge! So check that out. We have the super yacht, which looks absolutely beautiful, might I add. And yeah, that is what it looks like compared to a normal yacht in Minecraft. I mean, that is just crazy. I need far render distance just to see this thing. It includes over eight suites, two kitchens, three pools with many different spas, a basketball court, as well as a gym, a hairdresser area, and then a rock climbing wall, a library, a shop, a cinema, and there's a lot, a lot more. I can't even find all of those things, but when you download the map, you could go ahead and try to find it. But I mean, oh my my goodness, this thing definitely takes my breath away. It is mind blowing, and I'm going to try to explore some of it. Uh, to the best of my abilities. Okay, so up here we have what looks to be like the top section of the actual um, yacht. And honestly, you'll have to be navigating this for quite some time to even know where to go. And it really takes a really long time. So we could go down to another level over here. Just take a look at all of the detail, all of the different decorations just scattered across the area. We have a space here at the center that has literally like three to four floors just in this one spot with a waterfall and then a garden and then I'm using rent uh, like weird shaders so it's kind of dark but either way you guys can see we have a hallway going down to the front of the yacht and then we have different um you know bedrooms and yard or rooms and stuff over here at the corner I was gonna say yards but uh you guys get the idea this thing is absolutely massive and expansive and there's just tons of different things you could um you know do on the inside here when in terms of role playing you could create an entire adventure map just on the inside of this thing so what we're going to do is just quickly go into um game mode uh, perspective or spectator mode here and then sort of like um, go around the entire building as you guys can see we have our basketball court right in this section of the map and then we could maybe go down over here and see what else we could find it looks like we have another area for sports I guess we would like throw balls down this area I really don't have a clue what that is I'm just making stuff up because there's just so much stuff here we have some other levels at the bottom Oh, the rock, the rock climbing wall. I found it. Look at this guy. He's like climbing the wall. He's like, oh gosh, this is we're on the boats. This is the bad idea. I could fall in, possibly break my leg. And then we have another hallway here going to like the middle of the ship. And then we have some bedrooms or some spas over here. Some more spas and yeah, just a ton of stuff and this is like the bottom of it. What do you guys get the idea? It's very huge and yet again, I would recommend downloading every single one of these maps because there's no way on earth, once again, that we'll be able to explore all of these in detail. But that's how the back looks and I mean, that is just beautiful. Take a look at that. We even have a helicopter on the back of this yacht, which is kind of common, but it's uh, a helicopter nonetheless. And we have some pl places outside to like eat. And I mean, this thing would be so cool. And I wonder if it exists in real life. I have no idea, but um, you know, hopefully, someone didn't waste their money building something like this. But either way, that is our super yacht. Let's go ahead and take a look at something equally impressive. Now, here we are in the fantasy city of Minas Tirith. Wow, this thing just looks super amazing. It is built almost totally out of stone and quartz. And if you guys don't know what Minas Tirith is, it's basically a city from the Lord of the Rings. And it's very unique looking, as well as it is just a beautiful beauty to look at. I mean, just wow, this thing is just so cool. I've never really seen anything like it. And it's really cool that someone brought it to Minecraft. Now let's go down to the front gate of Minas Tirith so we can actually get a good look at how big this uh, thing actually is. So let's go down there. There we go. And we're still falling, still falling and boom. That is the front gate to the city. And yeah, that is where the top is all the way up there in the clouds. Okay, so let's start flying up over here since there's really no way to get through the door. 
and then we could go into the city, drop down into the main courtyard where there is uh, loads of cows around here, and I mean, just look at this place. Once again, it would take you forever to explore this map, but you would have a lot of fun doing it, and this would be really great for role-playing, maybe installing some sort of mod where it adds in medieval characters and, you know, stuff like that so you can have, like, little battles, or maybe you could blow up the map or have uh, tornadoes hit the map or natural disasters, stuff like that. I mean, just use your imagination because with a large city like this, there's just so much to do. Okay, so let's fly up here and go up through the, diff the different levels of Minas Tirith. If you guys don't know, this uh, particular structure is built with different levels. We have level 1, obviously, at the bottom, then level 2, and then we have level 3, and the higher you go, the higher of rank you are in the social ladder. So basically, the poorest people live at the bottom and the richest people live at the top, and of course, we have the palace of the king at the top, and once we get there, you guys can see how amazing this actually is. So there we go. We're at the top of Minas Tirith, and and this is basically a very large walkway and it's sort of like built into a mountain which I think is totally amazing and then we have the palace of the king at the top and then we have some other decorations on the side as well and of course this is the mountain back here and then we have some more decorations and whatnot and other buildings at this location so you guys get the idea it's a very very large city with a um, you know a very unique set of buildings that you guys can have fun exploring and then you can also take a look at the grand hall which is um, sort of like the palace located at the top and we have the throne in here as well so yeah this is pretty much the city of Minas Tirith added in Minecraft I think it is something very mind-blowing to look at especially if your computer cannot um, handle you know, large maps like this, or if you can't build large maps like this, or you didn't know large maps like this existed before in the past in Minecraft. So either way, let's go ahead and now uh, take a look at another map. Okay, so this build might be too large to show on my computer. Believe it or not, it is that gigantic. But I will be including some pictures on your screen. It is supposed to be a Super Star Destroyer. Now check this out. It's going to be just a very, very, very large Super Star Destroyer that stretches all the way from back there. It's not even loading all the way to the front. And this is what's on the middle. I mean, just look at that. It is just like a huge city of buildings on top of it and I mean this thing is just mind-blowing I mean that's really the only thing I can say and then let's go down over here and take a good look at the actual scale of it obviously it's not anything detailed just a bunch of random blocks so it must have a take must have not taken that long to build but either way it's something to really feast your eyes on I mean this is like one of the trenches or canals that you would fly an x-wing down if you're trying to blow this thing up but it's not the Death Star but you guys get the idea it's very huge and that's the control tower all the way over there I'm not really sure how you would control a air uh, not an aircraft but a starship like this because it's just so large but um yeah super star destroyer is as big as a planet i assume and it could easily blot out the sun if it flies in front of your country but yeah that is uh pretty much it there's really not much to say about it besides showing you what it is it's all built with the same same stone texture and there's like different layers to it as you guys can see it it has like a peak on this side and you're the control tower and then it sort of like gradually goes down towards the back and you could go down here endlessly like you could fly endlessly towards the back and towards the front it would take you quite some time to get from one side to the other if you were walking I believe it about 10 to 20 minutes it would take but yeah you guys get the idea it's just a very very large map and it kind of sucks that I can't even load up the entire thing even though I'm on extreme render distance but hopefully this gives you a good idea of how big <laughs> this uh, build actually is. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. For this next creation, I went ahead and found this very huge tank. You guys get the idea. Everything that I will be showing off is massive, but I found the largest tank I could find. It has three huge guns fused together to create a very large cannon, and also it is just decimating this forest, completely crushing it as it moves along, and it has this really large wheels and large everything and then the cockpit is located right here at the front 
and you can just sit here and pretend like you're just destroying the entire world in this sort of like super tank. And why is it lagging? Oh my goodness, it's lagging a lot here because I'm using the furthest render distance, but um, you guys get the idea, it's a very, very large tank. If we drop ourselves right here across this river, you can actually take a look at the scale of the tank. One of the wheels just, you know, kind of takes up the entire skyline in front of you. It's like a very large skyscraper and we can't even see the top how large it is. But if you go ahead and come over here, you can see that the cannon is, um, yeah, I mean, just really, really huge. And it's much larger than pretty much anything that I could build. And it's just a single structure, a single tank. Just imagine if we had multiple ones on the map and we're just walking right now next to one of the wheels going down below the tank. And you guys could really see how large it is. There's really not much to say about it besides, you know, taking a look at how um, this is actually built. I really love the design and you can actually explore the inside. There's like a few different passageways and stuff, but yet again, not a lot of detail on the inside, so I really can't go over it too much, but it's a really cool build and hopefully you guys download it and sort of mess around with it and take a look at, look at it yourself on your own computer or device. But either way, let's move on to the next map. Okay, so this next map is sort of cheating because it's not a single build, it's a collection of builds, but when you add those builds up together, it creates this very lovely futuristic city. I mean, just take a look at all of these things, guys. There is just tons of futuristic buildings located everywhere on this map, and ironically enough, it's located next to a very, um, you know, old-looking villager village okay so either way um yeah that is uh pretty much it as you guys can see it's just really cool to look at and it has like i said a lot of futuristic buildings with full interiors and if you fly up over here you can take a better look at everything and over here it looks like we have a clock and uh it's not working but you know it's really cool nonetheless and when we get when we go back down to the ground over here you can see how large the actual buildings are and there's just skyscrapers everywhere with what looks to be like hyperloops connecting up all the buildings. If you guys don't know what hyperloops are, they're basically just super fast trains, but instead of them being on tracks, they're like levitating. Yeah, I know, it's super cool and also very futuristic, but either way, this is our futuristic city. I really haven't seen a city like this in Minecraft, and this is like a recent map, so it's really fun for you guys to download this and, you know, take a look at everything since this is one of the newest maps in Minecraft, and it's really cool because, like I said, I've not really seen a futuristic map in Minecraft before or like an entire city. And yeah, this is just really crazy. It's even taking me quite some time to load up some of these things. Let's quickly hit escape there and let some of these things load up. And yeah, there's just tons and tons of different buildings. It's not like a, uh, there's not a lot of repetition going on. So as you guys can see, we have like different buildings with different numbers on it. So we have number four there, number five, number three. That looks to be like a hotel because it says hotel. And then we have some other buildings on the Hyperloop as well as building number two, number one, and just, oh, oh my gosh, what is this? It looks like a bunch of buildings on the water. These are identical and then they're connecting up to one very large building at the center. I think this is like the train station, quote unquote, or the Hyperloop station where we would get onto different rides or sort of like have a hub for the entire system. You could look into it and there's some redstone in there for decorations and just, yeah, check that out. That is the Hyperloop up there. And there's the museum and there's just a ton to explore on this map. Yet again, I recommend you download it and take a look at it for yourself and uh, you know try to see everything that it has to offer. So guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully one of these things blew your mind today. If it did, please take one second to crush that like button also leave a comment down below and tell me which creation blew your mind as well as don't forget to take one second to check out my other videos on your screen right now or subscribe to see when I post my latest videos. This was Twist and I'll see you guys next time.